NA1SS, NA1SS. This is 8 November 3, Sierra Golf. 8 November 3, Sierra Golf. Uh, do you copy over? NA1SS, NA1SS. Uh, this is 8, 8 November 3, Sierra Golf. 8 November 3, Sierra Golf. Do you copy over? 8 no, uh, November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra, NA1SS. This is 8N3SG. 8N3 Sierra Golf, Shiga Gakuen, Amateur Radio Station. Now it's time to start our school contact. Do you copy over? This is NA1SS. I copy. Over. Ah, thank you very much. Uh, your signal is very fine. Sorry to copy you. Uh, we are very glad to hear you. My name is K. Kiro Alpha Yankee. So, uh, by the way, uh, uh, Noguchi san around there? Over. This is NA1SS. This is Shannon. It is great to talk to you. I am ready for the questions. Over. Yeah, thank you, Rich. Uh, can I have your name, please? Uh, over. This is Shannon Walker, NA1SS. Over. Okay, uh, Shannon, thank you very much. Uh, hello, Shannon. We'd like to start the contact right now. Uh, by the way, the Noguchi san around there. Over. I am ready for the questions. Over. Okay. Okay, you are ready. Uh, so uh, let's start. Hello, my name is Hayata. Can you see shooting stars from the ISS? Over. Hayata, yes, we can see shooting stars from the ISS. The interesting thing is, because we're above the atmosphere, we actually have to look down towards the Earth to see them. Over. Hello, my name is Liu Shi. What are some of the challenges of living in zero gravity? Over. Liu Shi, one of the biggest challenges in living in zero gravity is keeping up with your things. If you don't put them down firmly on Velcro, they will always float away and be very hard to find. Over. Hello, my name is Soma. Aren't you running in space? Over. Soma, you know, Sometimes it can be lonely, but I've got a great crew up here, and we're like a family, and I can call down to the ground to my family and my friends just about any time I want. I think if I were on a longer mission, um, sometime when I didn't know how long I would be up here, I might get lonely. Over. Hello, I'm Kazuki. How do you manage the food on board the ISS? What happens when you run out? Over. Kazuki, I hope we never run out of food. Actually, the people on the ground manage our food supplies, um, and they make sure that we always have at least 45 extra days of food beyond what we expect. So we get supplies up every three months or so. So we're in pretty good shape when it comes to food. Over. Hello, this is Hina. What was the hardest part of becoming an astronaut? Over. Hina, you know, I think one of the hardest parts was having patience. It took me five selections over a period of 14 years before I was selected, but I kept trying. Over. Hello, this is Yuka. Where and where do you sleep on the ISS? Over. Yuka, the ISS operates on Greenwich Mean Time, and so we sleep at night from about 10 p.m. to about 6 in the morning. Um, we all have little crew quarters that we can sleep in, and we have sleeping bags in our sleep in our crew quarters. So we float inside sleeping bags um, at night. Over. Hello, this is Colin. How many times and how much do you eat each day? Over. Colin, we eat uh, about three meals a day plus the occasional snacks. And how much we eat depends on how much on the ground the doctors want us to eat. Um, they tell me I need to eat about 2,000 calories a day. Over. Hello, my name is DC. Uh, uh, Kensho. Is it comfortable to sleep in space? Over. Kensho, I find it very comfortable to sleep in space. You're floating in your sleeping bag, and it's kind of like floating on a swimming pool when you sleep. Over. Hello, this is Shu. What is the difference between the night sky seen from Earth and the night sky seen in space? Over. Two, I think the biggest difference is the amount of stars that we can see. We can see a lot more stars because we're above the atmosphere, and so we don't have clouds or pollution to look through. Um, so the Milky Way is absolutely stunning um, from the space station. Over. Hello, this is Kaho. Is we are really blue? Nancy Holmes, please. Over. 
Oh, yes, the earth is blue, but it also has a lot of clouds. So it's it's mostly white with blue underneath. Um, and it's especially blue when we get around islands where the water is shallow, say the Bahamas. It's really pretty. Over. Hello, this is Mana. What did you think when you first went into space over? Mana, I had very um, mixed emotions when I went to space. It was very exciting, and it was kind of a relief that nothing went wrong with our rocket when we got up here. And then just just the um, wonderment of being able to be in space and being in space after having tried for so many years to be an astronaut. Over. When did, uh, ho hello, this is Hilto. When do you feel the most like you're in space on the ISS? Over. So I think we feel like we're in space just about all the time because we are constantly floating. I think maybe I feel it the most when um, I lose my stuff and it just floats away and I realize that I haven't been careful at putting things down. Over. Hello, this is Kojiro. Are space suits heavy? Over. Kororo, you know, spacesuits are heavy on the ground. In space, of course, they don't weigh anything, but they definitely have mass. And so the suits that we wear outside when we do spacewalks are very massive, and you can definitely tell when you're moving around because you have to take all that extra mass with you, aside from your just your body mass. Over. Hello, this is Toji. Do you enjoy floating around in space? Over. Toji, I absolutely enjoy floating in space. It is one of the best parts about being up here. You can have a lot of fun. It can be frustrating when you lose your things, but you can have a lot of fun floating around in space. Over. Hello, this is Noah. What's the best space food you've eaten? Over. Noah, you know, this is not a lie. The best space food I have up here is Japanese curry. Over. Hello, this is Koga. Which do you enjoy more, right on Earth or in space? And why is that? Over. Koja, you know, the life in space is really good, but I think I prefer life on Earth. Not only because my family and friends are there, it's because we have access to nature. Um, I don't get to feel the sun on my face, I don't get to feel breezes, I don't get to smell flowers up here, and I really miss that. Over. Okay, that's all for our question. Sharon, thank you very much for your great conduct. Uh, we hope to complete your mission and good luck to you and your team. Also, Soichi Noguchi-san. Thank you very much. Finally, we'd like to say arigato with everyone. So, one, two, three. Arigato! Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. And I will pass on your hellos to Soichi. This is NAS, NA1SS. Over and out. Yeah, thank you very much. Good luck.